Happy weekend, everyone. Welcome to Breakfast at Tracy's. We are wrapping up our week on the results of generosity. We have seen throughout this week that embracing a generous lifestyle has tremendous implications, not just for us, but for those around us. On the other hand, being greedy, clinging to our riches, also sends a message that may have more impact than any amount of gospel preaching. Today's result of generosity is a sticky one. Once again, going back to 2 Corinthians, where Paul is encouraging the churches to make a generous donation to the poor in Jerusalem, he writes, and I quote, Whatever you give is acceptable if you give it eagerly. And give according to what you have, not what you don't have. Of course, I don't mean your giving should make life easy for others and hard for yourselves. I only mean that there should be some equality. Right now, you have plenty and can help those who are in need. Later, they will have plenty and can share with you when you need it. In this way, things will be equal. All this talk of equality sounds very left-wing politically, doesn't it? In a sense, I think it is. Paul is advocating for those who have to give towards those who don't have. However, it is not purely left-wing either, because Paul is counting on these followers of Jesus to give willingly. This is not enforced by government officials. This is not like a Christian tax that Paul is collecting. It is purely voluntary. This may very well test our faith. If we are hardcore right-wingers, we might, might, say that if people are poor, they should work harder, pull themselves up by their bootstraps, or start their own business, like I did. If we are hardcore left-wingers, we might, might, say that instead of disadvantaging a few followers of Jesus to help the poor, the government should step in and force all people to contribute. Paul is not advocating for either of these positions. This is a real test of faith. The question for every follower of Jesus is, are we willing to disadvantage ourselves for the sake of others? Are you willing to disadvantage yourself? Am I? This will be very difficult, and so the call to generosity is going to challenge our idols because while money can be an idol in itself, it more accurately often provides a trail to our idols. Follow your money to what is really important to you. Interestingly, Paul cautions giving beyond a sense of equality, but even to simply create equality would be a massive step down for most of us. I read the account of a Christian writer who had a very successful book, and he, along with his wife, decided that they would give away the proceeds of that book to a certain Christian charity who assisted with the starving, sick, and those who were forced into, sex, into the sex trade. They agreed that by doing so, in 80 years, they'd have no regrets in this decision. But this did not fly with some followers of Jesus. The author said they were shocked and discouraged by the feedback they received. People said they were being irresponsible with what God had given them, and that they should put some away for emergencies at least. The author's response was, and I quote, is it not an emergency that children in Cambodia and Thailand and even the United States are being raped every single day of their lives? Why is that not an emergency? Hmm. Emergency indeed. The prospect of generosity will test our faith and push us towards trusting God more. And it is a process. Those around us may not approve but God is calling us towards trust. Not just in our giving, but of course in all areas of our lives. May you, Breakfast Club, take the right path, the path of faith. With every fork in the road that God places before you, may the sweetness in your relationship with Jesus grow with each move towards generosity. Let's pray. Our Father, the idea of lowering our standard of living for the sake of others is truly 
uncomfortable for most of us. Forgive us for when we have taken the road of self-preservation and comfort over generosity and trusting in you. Keep moving us towards becoming so generous that people can't help but see that we don't just say we trust you, but that we really do. Amen. Your question for the weekend is this. How do you respond to Paul's expressed goal of equality? I hope that you have a great weekend. I thank you so much for joining us today and you probably joined us for the rest of the week. I hope to see you again on Monday as we continue on with Wise Investments. I'll see you then.